Yeah, I felt like I never left. Everything felt good. Um, felt like my at-bats were good and seen the ball well. That's, that's all you can really ask for, you know, coming back after missing that many weeks. So I'm excited, you know, with the start. You know, we got the win. And just got to keep that rolling. You had just two simulated games where you saw live pitching. Was there any part of you that was worried about how you were going to see the ball and if you were going to be able to adjust offensively? Nah, it's like riding a bike. You know, it's, that's what I'm getting paid to do is help the Yankees win games. So, you know, it's... No, I just had to see a couple at bats, and then I knew after you know my first day doing simulated at bats that I was, I was good to go. Who else? Andy, all the way in the back, and Billy. You'd said a couple of days ago, and obviously that the fracture itself isn't going to be totally better technically until maybe the off season. But does that actually affect the way you swing or feel or perform in a game, or are you at the point where maybe you have some pain, but you're basically yourself? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we still got some pain. You know, it's, there's going to be some pain probably to the off season, but it's something that I can deal with, and it's and it's not affecting my swing or anything like that. So that's why we kind of moved forward and started doing, you know, at bats and you know, get finally get me in a game. Billy, yeah. Uh, how do you how do you explain looking so much better uh, tonight than you did in the uh, simulated game today? Um. I felt like I looked pretty good in the simulated game. I don't know, Billy. I don't know. Um, adrenaline, you know, that's the biggest thing, you know, getting in front of our, you know, our fan base, you know, but I felt like I was taking good at-bats, you know, all day, you know, so that's why I told, you know, told our training staff, told Cash, like, I'm going to be in the lineup tonight, so. Eric and Joel. Aaron, what was the most frustrating part of, to your right? To your right, oh, sorry. My, my bad. <laughs> uh, what was the most frustrating part of being out for as long as you were? Just not, um, just not grinding with with my team. You know, that's the biggest thing. You know, that's what I love to do. You know, through the good times, through the bad times. You know, I want to be, you know, in the trenches with my with my guys. So, you know, missing out on that. You know, the ups and downs. Uh, that's what I that's what I miss the most. You know, and it's glad to finally be back there. You know, especially you know we got down early to Boston, and this team continues to fight. You know, so I love being you know finally back in there with them, and you know getting a win. To the right again, Joel. Uh, two things. Did you recognize because of the way the rain changed the start of the game that that gave you an option today that you might not have had otherwise to play uh, starting today? And can you take us up behind the scenes a little bit about how you found out and how much lobbying you did to play today instead of wait another day? I told him after the first day I did simulated at-bats on the off day that I'm good to go. I'll be playing, I'll be playing tomorrow. Um, but, you know, it has to go through the training staff and everybody. And then, you know, after today, uh, the simulated game this morning, I told them once again that if the game's a one or if the game's a seven, I'm going to be in there. So that's all. <laughs> that's all it really was. Clap again to the right. Aaron, um, just a moment ago, your manager was saying that you were a, a presence on in the dugout. There was an edge to you. Um, do you know what that means? Can you explain that? No, just, just keeping the guys motivated, keeping the guys locked in the game. You know, I was – tight game you know Valdi was you know pitching really well against us and the biggest thing is just hey guys keep grinding you know it's a one nothing game and you know we're, we're going to come back and win this you know keep having quality at bats you know it's that's all it was just keep trying to have quality at bats and get the next guy up there you know if we continue to do that you know we're going to eventually win that game that presence is that different now that you're playing as opposed to the last six weeks when you weren't playing were you a different person a different teammate today a different presence in the dugout because you're active yeah it's, it's tough when you're not playing you know, to try to tell a guy who's out there grinding his butt off, hey, come on, <laughs> keep it up, let's go. You know, when you're sitting on the bench, you know, sitting, eating sunflower seeds, chewing gum, you know, it's kind of tough. But uh, it's a little easier to do that and kind of get into some guys when you're out there fighting with them. Randy, front left. What time did you leave your place today and get to the ballpark? And did you stay here all day? And uh, also on the last at bat, the check swing, did you feel anything there? And did you think that was a ball? I got here pretty early. Um, pretty early in the morning and the check swing no nah, nothing I was just mad that I went mad that I swung at that pitch did you stay all day long? yeah I was here Coley in the middle uh, Aaron have you thought about what this team can be with you fully in it into October going into the postseason well, we're still missing you know missing Chappie I know I feel like if we get Chappie back you know for the very end of our bullpen and you know, the guys keep swinging the bats, you know, start getting hot here. We're gonna, we're gonna be a, a pretty big force, you know. And we just got to keep, 
this is the time to get hot. You know, there's no time to wait. And, you know, it's no, we can't wait till the postseason and try to flick a switch and fire things up, man. We got to start start right now. So I feel like that's something that we're we're about to go on right now. So it's the best time to get hot is right now. So looking forward to them all. Take two more, Dave, to the left. Aaron, I, th I think for the past two months, the biggest question was, you know, not only are we going to be back, but like to what level could you be able to play? You know, would you be yourself? Do you feel like you're yourself now? Do you feel like no, like you normally would? There won't be a compensation for the hand or anything like that? No, like I said earlier, I felt like I didn't didn't even miss six, seven weeks. You know, when I stepped in the box, you know, after, you know, the first that bat, I knew. So I was confident, you know, even I was confident on the off day when I came in to get some at-bats. You know, I knew I was like, hey, I'm going to be in there. So let's get this thing moving. Last one, Christy, back middle. When you told them that you were going to be in the lineup after the sim game, did you – were you in the lineup, or did they come to you later, or how did you find out you were actually going to get to play? They came to me later, you know, but you know I don't make the decisions. You know, I'm just getting paid to play, so I, I just voiced my opinion, you know, a lot, and I think they kind of got tired of me <laughs> telling them I'm going to be playing, so they finally said, let's put them in there and see what happens.